Hi students, welcome to my channel. So today we are going to discuss the topic of Unit 4 Highway Construction and Maintenance. Topic is construction of WBM roads and machinery. So this is a very very important topic in the transportation engineering. So today we are going to see this one objectives. On completion of this period, you will be able to state different stages of historic development of road construction and state the introduction to waterborne macadam road and materials used for waterborne macadam road, construction of waterborne macadam road, and machinery required for construction of waterborne macadam road. So these are the topics we are going to see in this chapter. So once we cap, in the previous class we have learned cross section of highway and cutting and embankment and the components and functions of a road pavement. So now historical development of road construction. Footpaths are the oldest mode of travel and animal drawn wheel vehicles demanded hard surfaces. Post World War scenario gave rise to present day roads due to mechanization in every field of science and engineering. So here different types of roads were developed due to the availability of different materials and changes in wheel types, construction techniques, horsepower of automobiles. The next types of roads based on construction techniques, ancient roads, these are called as old end roads. In that older roads, we can see Roman roads, transit rail construction, Metcalf construction, Telford construction, Macadam construction. Now, this is the Macadam construction we are using nowadays, and waterborne Macadam roads also we are using, and bituminous roads also using, and concrete roads. So, from Macadam to concrete roads, this is the construction we are doing now. So, coming to here, Roman roads, we can see this is the in an image Roman road building. The surveys are shown a head followed by a crew digging the fossae to drain the soil, then hand campers forming the statuement, rhodos and nucleus, each is conducted by the crew shown in the foreground from Roman engineers LA Hami 81. So Romans were pioneers in pioneers in road construction. So we will uh, you know now we will call labor okay in their words they will call it as pioneers, okay ancient Roman roads. So, these are the ancient Roman roads we can see. Roman road near Tunis, now north of Tithis. And Timark Street in Ephraim is built in 32 AD. And this is the famous structure. And a Roman road in Pompey, paved street with curves, sidewalks and paths due to chariots and fire wagons. So, there in, on the Roman roads, there, there is no need to have the, any cars or any lorries or any type of vehicles. There is to run any bullock cars types or any, okay? Just like wheels, uh, wheel vehicles have to run. And this is the cross section of Macadam. This is invented in 1827. So, this is the high drain. So, these are the layers one by one they have done. So, first one you can see from, let us start from down. So, this is the compact subgrade slope 1 to 36 down layer. And next after that is nothing but 50 mm broken stones, 100 mm thickness base one, okay. And next one is 37.5 mm broken stores 100 mm thick. So that is another one third layer. So these are with the boulder stones. Okay. And next one last part so surface slope is nothing but 20 mm 50 mm thick. So 1, 2, 3, 4. There are the four layers which are used in the macadam board construction in the 1827. So macadam construction, how it was in the macadam was the surveyor general of roads in England. So he is the surveyor general of roads in England. First scientific method based on modern concepts. So his name is John Lauren Macadam, 1756 to 1836. Okay. And Macadam construction, important modifications from Olin roads. So what are the modifications we have done from the Olin roads? Let us see. Provision for subgrade drainage. Yes. And compaction to subgrade. Replaced heavy foundation stones. Introduced a layer of smaller size broken stones at the bottom layer of construction. So these are the modified from the old and roads. Salem concepts decrease in stresses due to wheel loads of traffic at the lower layers of pavement. And no need of large and strong boulder stones as foundation course. So you can see here decrease in stresses due to wheel loads. When the wheel loads acts, they will be stress will be acted on the road. So that's why the lower layers of payment will be decreased in the stresses. And there is no need of large strong boulder stones. There is no need to build a strong boulder stones. Okay. 
and the sub grade is compacted with cross flow and sub base of broken stone 5 cm size were compacted to uniform thickness of 10 cm and base cores of strong broken stone 3.75 cm size compacted to 10 cm uniform thickness and top layer of stone 2 cm size compacted to thickness of about 5 cm therefore total thickness approximately is 25 cm you can see here from the starting the sub base broken is nothing but 5 cm to compacted to 10 cm ok that is nothing but compaction and next the 3.7 cm is compacted 10 cm ok this is base course one by one layer ok so you can say top layer base course sub gauge so this is a method and brochure from road construction Maryland in the 1823 USA United States of America so this is an image when the they are taking the uh, road construction ok this is for your reference so there is at the time there is no machinery nothing only with the horse wheels they have to run and they use with the manual power only they have to run so this is an our latest technology of our double beam road looks like very ok very good and natural beauty ok in the previous class you have learned heavy boulders are used before macadam construction low cross slope in primitive road construction and reduction in thickness of road is the main feature of double beam type in this class we will discuss for a double beam road materials required and what are the materials are required and how the construction procedure will be done and what are the machines used for construction so these three topics are very important for the construction of double beam road so let us see the payment responses you can see given V load this is nothing but 1 MPA ok that is 150 PSI <coughs> 1 mega pascals and these are the four layers you can see load distribution flexible payments sub grade sub base course base course and this is the bearing course ok so this is an, just an example for your reference and next is water bone macadam bone so this is a, a modified method of macadam's method of construction what is it it is a modified method of macadam's method of construction and broken stones of the base course and surface course if any are bound by the stone just in the presence of moisture we have the broken stones of the base course and the surface course a stone dust is nothing but in the presence of moisture and materials used for double beam road so this is very important component of pavement structure and approximate thickness subgrade first that is the material in subgrade compacted inside to soil the subgrade we will apply compacted inside the soil and the next foundation 30 to 40, 40 centimeters boulders boulders we will be applying and next in the base course 30 to 15 centimeters so this is also uh, called we can see uh, 150 mm okay and 0 0.3 30 to 150 mm aggregate and screenings are used in this and bearing course is 15 to 7.5 centimeters aggregate screenings and gravel okay and the shoulders 10 to 7.5 cm this is the gravel so these are the materials used for the double beam board in the layer by layer and the materials used for subgrade inside to soil for subgrade is should be soil with good bearing capacity CBR so CBR is nothing but California bearing ratio this is the test done in the laboratory for a soil and free from vegetation and plastic materials like clay so vegetation and plastic materials like means we should be free from dust and any uh, plastic materials or any paper materials or any vegetable materials ok there should not be any containing of dirty materials in the soil it should be fresh soil and weak soil has to be replaced by suitable soil or stabilizer for strong subgrade so here weak soil has to be replaced in the place of good soil ok suitable soil only we have to take for the subgrade and subgrade soils CBR California bearing ratio value is a parameter indicating the strength of a soil as a subgrade material CBR value is obtained by conducting a field or laboratory test on the subgrade soil as I told you now so this is nothing but obtained by conducting the field you can do in the field or in a laboratory test ok and CBR value is used for determination of thickness of payment by CBR method of payment design so you can it will be determined the thickness of payment also ok material chosen for foundation of sub base you can see boulder stone size greater than 60 mm are called boulders keep it in this, this point in the mind 
boulder stone size greater than 60 mm so we can see aggregates 42 to 50 those are all pearl aggregates okay coarser fine aggregates and coming to here more than 60 mm are called boulders and boulders of latran basalt or granite are used this is a local availability so this is a foundation course and this is a subgrade okay materials used for base course now course aggregate for base course that is crushed or broken stone overbone or broken brick sunker or lacquer so these all materials we are seeing in our daily life okay so this is the lateral soil which is for your reference diagram okay and these are the lateral bricks which they will be used in the construction just like small houses okay and materials used for base course are aggregates crushed stone broken stone that is in the triangular or cubical in shape for better interlocking during loading and free from flaky or flat particles flaky or flat particles means any dust or any uh, round or uh, any dust particles okay uh, it should be free okay and free from soft or disintegrated particles okay and should contain some cementation material okay cementation material means just like limestone or any or any, or any stone okay it should be some cemented material and next is brick bags overbound bricks free from dust free from foreign matter so these brick bags are also used in the base base course in the road construction so these what we will call brick bags are nothing but brick bags which are cut bricks when bricks are cut they become bags so you can see this is a full brick in full brick we have cut it into the half ok so the one third half portion is nothing but clean closer brick bag and it is cut it in the you can see quarter bag that is nothing but 3 by 4 a full brick is a full brick from here the cutted portion is our quarter bag so this is nothing but half bag in cutting in the middle so these are used in the road construction for the base course and next one is tanker it is tough and impact resistant ok and free from any clay in the cavities and next is lacquered aggregate and it is should be hard compact heavy deep brown or dark red in color and yields cementation material under rolling and next is coarse and wearing coats and these are the screenings crushed stones of small size stone strips 12 to 4.5 mm and necessary to fill voids between coarse aggregates and improve interlocking of aggregates during rolling for better strength okay, as far as possible they should be free from the same material as the coarse aggregate not necessary if crushable type coarse aggregate is used yes. so you can see this remember points so this is a timber scaling day when the rolling has to be done so crushed stone should be of small size minimum stone chips are 12 to 4.5 mm okay so this is and necessary to fill the walls between the coarse aggregates okay and uh, there should be interlocking of aggregates when the rolling has to be done for getting the good strength okay and as far as the material should be of the coarse aggregates okay so these are the materials which are for the base course and bearing course and next you can see screen is sieve designation this is in the lab time done in the laboratory size of screening 12.5 mm 12.5 percent is the weight passing with sieve 100 ok for the 10 4.7 for 150 magnet 0 to 8 10 to 30 nitrogen this is the grading requirements of the screenings ok and materials used for double beam board once we can see recap so these are the materials you can see subgrade, foundation, base port, wearing port, shoulders, okay. So compacted in-situ soil, boulders, aggregate and screenings, aggregate, screenings and gravel and gravel, okay. So next is gravel or binding material. It, it prevents the disturbance of the macadam layer and fine grain material of plasticity index of 4 to 9. Lime dust conquer nodules. Not necessary for flexible type coarse aggregate clean dry morum it is a nice clean dry morum and free from leaves and other organic matter so these gravel or binding material should be from free from leaves and other organic matter so ok so far we discussed historical perspective of road construction materials used for WPM road actual requirement of materials depends on new or existing gravel earth or road and thickness of layers and stages of construction ok so materials have to be stacked on road side for each layer to take three measurements so these are the important points for the WBM road construction. Now let us see the how the construction procedure of WBM road will be done. So these first you remember construction stages of WBM road. Foundation preparation for receiving the WBM course. 
and next is provision for lateral confinement spreading of force aggregate rolling application of screening sprinkling of water and grouting and application of binding material and rolling so i will explain one point by one by one point so first one foundation preparation for receiving the double beam course means first we have to prepare the foundation layer which is nothing but we have to clean the road layer which is and next is provision for lateral component and what is we have to take the measurements what is the depth and width we have to take the the confirm and next is spreading of forcing aggregate after that we have to spread the force aggregate on the road width okay and next is rolling rolling means compacting the once we have to done the compact and next is application of screening we have to done the cement material just like concrete stones okay we have to sprinkle the small boulders and then filling the wide gaps and next is sprinkling of water and grouting so after that we have to sprinkle the water and grouting is nothing but we have to done compacting proper with the roller okay and next is application of binding materials and ready and again and again once again we have to apply the binding material and we have to do the rolling so foundation preparation double beam layer is received by as a subgrade or sub base or foundation in case of new road sub base or sub grade is prepared to required grade required camber free from dust and loose material so in case of existing road surface filling of depressions and pad holes removal of corrugations or holes if any are cut at 1 meter intervals at 45 degrees to the center line of road and provision of lateral confinement provision of lateral confinement aggregates must be confined laterally to avoid loosening due to traffic load and lateral confinement is done by constructing the shoulders okay lateral confinement free totally the road should be construction done by the shoulders also and next is spreading course aggregate spread uniformly to even thickness manually or mechanically so we can done with the people or any with the machinery and check profile by templates okay profile means we have to check the all length and width and this okay and next normal compacted thickness of w1 course is 75 mm okay and next rolling rolling should be 6 to 10 ton capacity three wheel power roller is used vibrator rollers can also be used for the proper compaction okay following procedure begin from edges and proceed towards center line run forward and backward till the edges are compacted and shift to center of road and next overlap of each layer by 50% of width so this is the rolling process they have to follow while they while they are doing uh, doing the rolling the process okay <coughs> rolling process overlap of each preceding wheel track by one half width okay so it should be the overlap of each preceding wheel track by one half width so first from edges to a center center to again edges we have to run and this is the rolling on super elevated portion so you can see proceed from lower edge this is a lower edge so it is proceeding from here to the lower to the upper edge okay and progress gradually towards the upper edge so direction of rolling in horizontal curves so when the rolling has to be done it should be slowly go to the upper edge so then up to the center and next is application of screenings applying screenings in three or more layers of uniform thickness use hand shovels or mechanical spreaders and spreading is part of the rolling and foaming and dry rolling helps to settle screenings into voids and next is application of binding material application of binding material in two or more thin layers sprinkling plenty of water on the surface brooming of slurry into voids rolling using 6 to 10 tolls so this is nothing but application of binding material when the binding material has to be done so they have to sprinkle the plenty of water on the surface for the proper compaction okay proper compaction fast compaction okay and blooming of slurry into the voids slurry means the dust powder okay which it it has to fill the gaps and voids okay and the rolling has to be done 6 to 10 times application of binding material apply water to wash down the binding material stuck to the wheels and allow for curing overnight leaving the layer without disturbance is called curing okay here the this point is leaving the layer without disturbance is called curing again fill the voids using binding materials of spinning if necessary and roll properly hello traffic after the macadam sets okay see this is the process of a wm water water bond macadam road recap in this class we have discussed the materials used in wm road and their properties 
and construction stages involved in WPM course. Okay, foundation preparation for receiving the WPM course, provision for lateral confinement, printing of course certificate, rolling, application of screening, application of binding material. Now we will discuss about the use of machinery in WBM construction. So machinery for WBM road construction, as you can see, machinery helps to expedite the work and improve the quality. And types of machinery depends on the task operation involved. Main operations are earthwork excavation, rolling, grading, and bulldozer. So, uh, bulldozer, scrapper, power shovel, clamshell. So these are the machinery names. So first one you can see a bulldozer, a blade is attached to the front side of the tractor. So this is the blade used for excavating here, pushing it forward and leveling a heap. Heap means the ground level, okay? And the scrapper, generally ground by a tractor. So uh, it is saying that it will be just like a tractor. A multi-purpose machine, so it can do what it is using in light soils for digging, loading, carrying, dumping, spreading. So you can see this scrapper uses so this is a heavy weight scrapper you can see it is digging the soil and it is removing the soil in here so the scrapper is used in the large construction companies and the next is power shovel it is used to excavate all types of soils except rock so it is used in soils only but it not used in the rocks load into wagons excavate from lower level ok so I will show the power shovel now so this is the power shovel. So you can remember this diagram. Keep this diagram for your reference also. So this is the bucket portion which is used to lift and this is the moist cable and this is the crowd cable for lifting this bucket and this is the stick and this is the wheel okay and this is the boom we will call and this is the host cable wire which is connected to the bucket and this is the saddle block which will be a joint like and the support cable for the heavy load and this is the A frame okay and this is the housing okay and this is the collar okay and this is the operator room where he will sit and operate the machinery so this is the actual image you can see power shower so this is also used in the large construction companies the next one is clam shell which consists of a bucket divided into two half shells hinged at the top and trans the soft to medium soils opens at the deposition place so it is using the uh, for the soft soils or you know okay, it will take in the soil and keep it down. So this is the clamshell we can see. So this is the bucket which uh, pick up the soil and and, leave, and holds the soil and it pushes the soil. And the rolling smooth wheel roller, pneumatic tire roller, sheep foot roller. So this is smooth wheel roller have three wheels available in service of 3 to 20 tons tandem roller is a two wheeler roller and this is a sheep foot roller you can see in the diagram it consists of hollow steel cylinders with feet cylinders are filled with wet soil to increase the weight and rolling with sheep foot roller followed by rolling with smooth wheel roller and compaction of thicker layers and this is pneumatic tire roller it will be consists of more than two axis pneumatic wheels loaded to record pressure used for compaction of weak subgrade soils. So it is given in the weak compaction of weak subgrade soils. Okay. And next one is grader. Grader is used to shape the subgrade to construct earthen roads to spread the loose material. So it, you can see this uh, here blade also there and it will be spreading the loose material. Okay. So okay summary. The materials used for WBM road commonly consist of commonly consist of insert or stabilized soils, broken stones and gravel. So we let us we have seen the, the stages of construction of WBM roads are foundation preparation for receiving the WBM course, provision for lateral confinement, spreading of force aggregates, rolling, application of screenings, sprinkling of water and grouting, and application of binding material. So these are the parts we have seen in the today's class. So uh, let us uh, we can see in the next class uh, coming topics. Okay, and next from this some of the important questions we can see briefly explain the materials required for construction of the WBM road, and next list construction stages of WBM roads. Okay, and next explain the method of applying screens on the surface. Okay, and they write a short normal sheep foot roller scrapper and grader. 
so these are also uh, example examination questions and please note down this diagrams also very important in this chapter okay i hope understand have a nice day thank you